Hello, whiz kids. You now get to make your own shield of faith and your breastplate of righteousness. Complete with loops at the side for you to be a defender. Here's the materials you'll need. Uh, sheets of paper, paint, pa paintbrush, water, lolly sticks, glue, coloured pencils and a pair of scissors. You take your piece of paper and you draw a circle and you cut the circle out and you take a coin and you place the coin under the circle like this and then you rub again. until you have the circles going round. On the inside, you take a coloured pencil and you can create any design that you, that you would like to do, whatever colours you want. You just make it up as you go along. Like this. And you can colour them any, any way that you choose. You can do it in circles and lines and then on the inside you take two lolly sticks and you glue the lolly sticks together in the shape of a crucifix and you place it in the center and you draw around it and then you color that in and you use the same with the coins underneath and we color here if you don't have gold paint to do around the outside that's okay just do it with pencil but it's it still has the same outcome you'll need two strips of paper to make a cuff shield and then you take the glue just dab a small bit of the glue Fold it over and when that's dry, you glue it onto the back like that. That side turned in over. And you make two of those and that's going to go over your arm. And that's all there is to it. So again, sheet of paper, draw the circle rub the coins in a circle and you, you can use anything a jam jar lid it can be a coffee jar lid um, anything anything circular a glass to do the inside and it's as simple as that right now going on to the breastplate which is a little bit more complicated but it's really fun to do and this is the larger version here as you can see, it has leather straps, it has the crucifix, and it has leather straps here. And the leather straps attach around to the back. And it's a bit like an overall, like a tabard. And this one I've used gold paint and brown acrylic paint but there again you can still use it the same um, with coloured pencils so you need a quite a large piece of paper as you can see that's it there but I'm folding it over to make a smaller version fold it over and you want to draw around for the neck and you want to make a little bit cut here for the armpits and a little bit rounded at the bottom so this is your template take the scissors and cut it out And 
and the same for the for the neck right then what we do we fold it over again to make sure that it's even on both sides and we trim it off we round the shoulders and we round the bottom here and when you're happy with that you separate the two pieces and you have the front and back which is identical then you can start your colouring in or drawing designing anything that you like so you can see on here we have the neck and the V on the neck that could be a chain mail but what's, what we're going to put on is the crucifix and that's going to be glued on as you can see with two lolly sticks any shape lolly sticks but I've chosen the rounded ones You make lines for where your straps are going to go and for your shoulder straps and you do your own design so you can have this leather piece here which is going to protect the lower part of the body um, and just draw your lines for your stripes very easy it's fun even without using a ruler and you can see the gist um, you have two shoulder straps which are these straps here just gently snip away so that you've got a V shape And these straps, they glue on here. Now, if you want the same design, take the coin, put it underneath, and just where the straps are going to go, as you can see what I've done here, it gives the impression and it gives a circle. It's better, it's better doing the rubbing because it's, um, it gets you used to doing something interesting rather than just making circles. And there's all different shapes. And, uh, you know, if you, if you wanted to do a five pence piece, ten pence, depending on the size. But that's it basically there, as you can see. So the straps, they are glued. You can use all different kinds of, of glue. You can use Pritt stick, even a stapler, a stapler if you don't have the glue. So it's up to you. Obviously, you'll colour the straps first before you, you put them on. And as you can see here, the outer straps go on the side. And you can use the gold with a paintbrush. And the, the gold can go on the coins or you can paint it in stripes. Just do whatever you choose. But there's the outcome there. And it's simple. Paper and wood. Bye.